focused on community and we want to make sure students are connected to each other and our school is really connected to families. So for us it was really important just to have a face to face. We've met a lot of these kids through interviews but not all the parents. We've talked to some on the phone and through email and you know sometimes it's just nice to put a face with a name and so for us is we can we just get everybody here just to kind of create a, a moment a, a phrase we use a lot is moments create momentum and for us this was our first moment hopefully in a series of many moments that create momentum for our students our families and our school we had this really cool idea kind of among our staff about how to welcome students to vanguard and it was these cardboard vr goggles and amanda grace from broken air schools reached out to wra the architecture firm that helped design and lead the process direct process for vanguard academy and they were incredibly willing to partner and pay for the goggles. And we wanted to do a really cool video to welcome students. We got to film it in our commons area. So it was just a kind of a cool idea. Um, you know, we're an innovative school, so we better do something innovative to let kids know that they're accepted. And so it was just, hey, how can we get these goggles to kids and let them put them together and watch this video to say, welcome to Vanguard. And it was a really cool experience from the staff side. And I hope it was a really awesome experience from the student side. Malachi! Oh, congrats, man. Welcome to Vanguard. Thank you. Heck yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, my. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Cool. This well, is, uh, man, you got you to look at the box and follow directions, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. What was unexpected was probably that I was told to get the mail, even though they grabbed it earlier today. <laughs> What made me think about coming to the school was the difference in learning, the different learning environment that they had here. It's not just taking tests and reading and just sitting behind a desk, it's interactive experiments. That's going to be very fun, learning different ki kind of things, hanging out with other smart, intelligent people. It would it'd be pretty cool. I'm looking toward investigative journalism. I got a couple things my eyes are on. Um, my career path, I feel this would definitely further accelerate that of what I'm trying to get to. And I feel it would definitely leave me with more knowledge than I would have if I was just going to the normal high school. I'm Malachi Gray and I'm a Vanguard Academy Innovator. Our staff is incredible. I mean, I've been in BA for several years as an educator, and I know we have phenomenal people here, but it's a little bit scary with a new staff, like ah, I've got to go find people, right, to, to work on this staff together as a team. And man, we had incredible people that applied, and without a doubt, we hit multiple home runs um, with our staff. Just incredible people who are just great, like just people in their heart, they're just fantastic people, but educationally, they're willing to push the envelope uh, in regard to innovation and education, and I think that's really important for a school like Vanguard. Last year has been really crazy with, you know, obviously with the pandemic, but building a school, um, and we've had to meet on Zoom and do a lot of planning on Zoom, that's been different, but honestly, just working with great people. Emily Lim is phenomenal. Cody Pratt is another person that's been super, super involved in building this program over two years. And you talk about Dr. Vincent and Bob Tolomeo and Carla Dias and Chuck Perry and Sharon James. And there's just so many people that have been instrumental in building this program. And uh, it's awesome to see kind of everything moving one direction to make this building happen and launch and create this opportunity for students. It's a pretty cool experience. You know, we hope we get to kind of move in in May. We might not have internet, but at least we can kind of occupy the building and use that to kind of help start planning and building experiences for students. And then uh, we're gonna enroll students like in our classes probably late May and in June. And then over the summer, we've got to build classes from scratch. Our, our teachers have already kind of started that process. So it'll be just a lot of like behind the scenes work to build these new experiences. And then in August, we're gonna kick it off probably with two to three days of no backpack on our campus. It's just getting connected with students and with each other. And then we'll launch into these new kind of innovative ex educational experiences that probably first full week of school.